Hello everyone, Brian Hogg here, and I want to give a quick demo on how to use the import feature to only import certain fields uh, into a table based on a CSV that you have. And this is using uh, the SQL Pro program for uh, Mac OS X. So as an example, I ran a bunch of email addresses through a service called Neverbounce, and uh, that returns whether an email address is valid or not. So I don't want to modify any of the information here. I just want to uh, add a new column and import the data on that column, specifying if the email address is valid uh, or invalid or, or whether it'll bounce. So I'll add that column here, email status as a varchar, like 30, and I'll leave it null in case that email address isn't there. And then I'll go up to file import pick that CSV and I'll have the options to either insert or update. So uh, you can see here I've got update, but then the import button is disabled, which is kind of confusing. So uh, it looks like to do this, you just ignore all fields. And then I want to match the email field within that CSV onto the user email field. So just by going to match field, SQL Pro will find that email field and uh, kind of assumes that that's the right one and uh, matches it to user email. Otherwise you can manually pick it, but you can see this equal sign shows up, which means that it's going to check to see if this email address in the CSV matches the user underscore email field in the user's uh, table in WordPress. So then I can also want to update the email status here. And so if the email address matches in the table, I want to add the value in the CSV for email status to the email status field I just added in the users table. So now if I click import, it'll run through the CSV. There's a ton more email addresses. And sure enough, none of the other data has changed. The uh, user email was matched on the one record in the CSV that it did match to, and the email status was set to valid. So that's how you use the import feature to update certain data uh, using SQL Pro for Mac.